Hello Sagittarius, Jackie Tomlin here and we're here to look at your week of June 5th, 2023 as we enter the first week of June. You know, um, as I'm sitting here and I'm hearing the message that there's choices in love, trying to come up with the title of uh, your video, <laughs> the next thing I hear is that you may be getting an ultimatum. Not sure how well that's going to set with a fire sign, but it's there. It's prominent, so I have to share. I'm just the messenger. Remember that. Okay. All right. So what do we have going on here? Might be dealing with another fire sign. There's kind of, some kind of date night or a celebration coming up. Something here that you want to celebrate. Hello, Miss Mora. Uh, if you are separated from someone or something, it is temporary. There will be a small wish granted. There's new doors opening up for you, and it's more than the area of love. There's a lot of new doors opening up for massages. Okay, uh, good news is going to arrive. Like I said, there's something there is something you want to celebrate and you're going to make a celebration of it. I mean, you might just make a party of it. I don't know. But there's something here that you're super excited about. Um, intensity and love. Let's go back to what I said. Spirit said choices and love. And then I heard it. Ultimatum. Someone may very well be throwing that ultimatum out to you. There is a very high drive for success. Workaholics, it's going to be a big week, big week, fast paced. Now, this is also a week of getting what you want, but it's not coming in the form you're expecting. Mm -mm. It's high vibrational. It's good. Put a smile on your face. Not coming in what is not what you're expecting. Any delays that occur are in your favor. I don't think there are delays occurring. I'll see how this reading unfolds. I see it. I'm seeing more or less that you've been under delays and now things are unfolding. So like now is your time frame. Okay. Well, falling ashes again. We've had those in the readings today. I'm <laughs> just saying falling ashes. Could be good. Could be bad. How do you want to perceive it? I'm going to go with good. I am a Sagittarius and I'm telling you right now, the vibration is too high for it to be something negative. So Something coming from the ashes. Uh, something comes from the ashes could be coming from the past. So you never know. So let's see what we got going on here. We're going to start with some oracles and then we'll jump into the reading. There's hope. Hope for you guys yet. See that full moon there? Because that full moon is in Sagittarius. I think that turns. I think more said the third. There is a bonfire. I do see a bonfire. Could very well be a bonfire. Hell, I have a fire pit. So, yeah, it could be a bonfire. My neighbors have a bonfire like every day of the week. Every single night. Every night. Uh, there's someone here that you're going to have to ask for their understanding. Mm, that's easier said than done. You're not a real expressive sign. You're not really good with emoting and you need someone's understanding, particularly if this is true. I mean, spirit says there's an ultimatum and you may have to ask for their understanding on that. See how it plays out. Yep. There's a message. I really want to throw in an unexpected. You don't see this coming. You don't see it coming. It's nothing negative. But it is coming out the blue. I can tell you that. Follow where you're being summoned. But I am quite disturbed in thinking with the moon and this the summon card that someone maybe have done some magic. That's not the style I like. So just be warned of that. Let's go with the center here. Reminder, don't forget what you've been through. Don't forget what you've been through. If you're looking at moving that you've got choices to make in love, and obviously if you've got choices, there's more than one person. If there's someone that's going to stand there and give you an ultimatum, you need to look where you've been versus where you're going. Okay? And if it's someone, I mean, 
that wants a new slate and wants to start over fresh, are you able to do so? Some of us are not always able to hit that reset button the way other people can, because this is what it's telling you, don't forget. There's a reminder here, and it says, don't forget. Okay, letting go. If you've got a choice to make, you're going to move forward with one, and you're going to let go of another. Change transformation with those butterflies. I see a waterfall here, too. Uh, it's not necessarily that you'll be at a waterfall, but I do see some kind of like ambiance, I guess you would say, some kind of a romantic setting. Keep your focus. Think about the long term. Look outside of the immediate. The number 17 is prominent here. May resonate with someone. Big thing here is keeping your individuality um, with both of you, you know, and that and that's a hard thing when you're merging together as a couple that you still have to keep your individuality plus come together as a couple. And that seems to be important for both of you, which is huge. There's also a message here from someone that is past, not in the past, but someone that's past, like a deceased loved one. Um, so pay close attention to your dreams, synchronicities, and signs. What are they trying to tell you? Okay. Uh, the color pink is prominent here. Pink. Pink is the color. I really do feel that you're dealing with another fire sign. High priestess of fire. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, you're grounded and you're centered. You do have your focus like we saw here. Okay, but it also says that you're very intuitive and you need to trust your intuition. I think there's more I can say there, but I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Just, yeah, okay. We'll see what we'll just pull another card. Yeah, it's complicated. Honestly, folks, I'm seeing some trust issues. That's what I didn't want to discuss. I'm seeing some trust issues. So, I mean, it, it could be that you're having problems trusting this person that's making the offer. could be that you're having problems trusting yourself, but there's some trust issues here that definitely need to be discussed. Hello, Moonshine. So, yeah, it's complicated. All righty. Now, let's get into the reading, Sedge. Let's see what we got going on here. The trust issues. It's right here. Someone's not telling you everything. Someone's not being honest with you. This is a lie by omission. This is someone trying to make themselves look better than what they really are. You know, I love the fact that you called it the love button. I do. This is someone trying to make themselves look better than what they really are. And you know, I I am one. I don't feel that you should start any relationship on something that's false. If they can't be upfront about you and see if you can accept it or not, maybe this is not the way to go. Page of Wands could be dealing with another Sagittarius. I'm most certain you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Who's the messenger card there? Also, someone is building a fence. Fence on the property. I'm seeing a fence being built. Four of Cups. Four of Cups comes in and says, the Four of Cups says there is an unexpected offer, and it's an unexpected offer of love. So whatever is rushing in here, whatever choice you have to make, whatever ultimatum they're about to hand you, you don't see this coming. That's why y'all got me. Just saying. Y'all don't see this coming. Nine of Wands. We're talking huge commitment. Huge, huge commitment. Um, this is movement on the home front. Someone moving in. Someone moving out. Movement of furniture. Renovations. I honestly, from what I gather from this reading, someone either wants you to move in with them or they want you to move in. Vice versa. 
this could be the ultimatum that I'm seeing. This could be the ultimatum. Y'all, this comes under trust issues. Okay, just want to throw that out there. Center of the reading, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius energy. Um, grounded, centered, financially stable. And let me throw this out there. So some of y'all need to know this. You're actually really fertile at this time. Do with that as you please. Just want to throw it out there. As everything falls out the deck. Okay, so now we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is money in addition to. Something in addition to your regular pay. Like I said, you guys are throwing, throwing it all out there. Okay, you're throwing everything of your being into your work, into your career. This is where your focus is. Your focus is really not of matters of the heart right now. Okay, and then we have the three of swords. The third person, I want advice and or opinion. Someone sticking their nose in your business. Ha <laughs> ha, that's probably a good thing, Miss Wendy. Um, now, let me tell you this. In the same column, in the same spread, I do not like seeing Shady and a third person. This is never a good combination. Never. This doesn't necessarily mean that your person is cheating. This can mean where we're talking about um, choices to make. Maybe they've been seeing someone else and you're not committed or something like that. Maybe it's a family member putting their nose in and putting their two cents in. It's just, it's just ick. <laughs> anyway, you want to look at this. This is just ick. Okay. Just saying, man, I, I'm serious. They got to go have some serious ass kissing to get beyond that. All right, let's keep going. Hello, Harry, the magician. The magician comes into play. This is the yes answer. This is you get what you want and you get what you desire. I mean, maybe they do do the ass kissing. I don't know. I really think that not only do they need to kiss your butt on this, they know it. Okay. Hi, Harry. I think they actually know it. There's also some dress-up event here that you may be going to or attending. I'll throw that out there as well. Looks like fun and you look happy, so I'll throw that out there as well. Page of Swords comes in. Here is the choice. There's the secret admirer. Taurus energy. Taurus energy. <sighs> You know, some of you, I feel like there has been a past connection with you in this Taurus. Maybe this is someone you have been um, seeing. Maybe someone you've been seeing. Mm, someone's pulling at your heartstrings, though. I know that. You know who this person is. All right. Let's keep going here. We have a muse here, the muse of inspiration. Choices to make. You've got choices to make. Some of these choices are involving travel. One of these two people inspire you. The way they handle themselves inspire you. We have the aid of inspiration too. Total happiness, total contentment. Love arrows flying around. Not yet. I don't have a Capricorn yet. We have, oh, hell, there's the tower. And this, my friends, I promise you, comes with the first word spirit gave me. Ultimatum. Ultimatum. You either commit to me and we try this or we're done. Um, you get rid of this person, so you're talking to only me, or we're done. Find <laughs> me a Mr. T. I pity the fool. Lord help us. I'm just saying, I don't work well with ultimatums at all. I don't know about y'all, but I don't. 
There is strength. Strength on your side no matter what you do. The good Lord said you're going to need it. Right? There is the ace of inspiration. Well, here you go. Of these people, of one of your choices, you're not speaking to one of them. Right. You're not speaking to one of them. Harry, I know y'all don't know me that well, but how well do you think giving me an ultimatum is going to go? I don't care what area of my life it is. Death card energy. Endings, closures, rebirths, new beginnings is what I'm talking about. It's a choice. You kick in the door shut or you go leave it open. Thank you, Maura. Not well at all. Not well at all. I have never known anybody in life to give me an ultimatum and that bear went to their favor. <laughs> I just said. And we have the two of inspiration. Again, it's talking about you have a travel choice. You have a travel choice. And some of you, it's not just a travel choice. It's just something you need to get the hell away. You need some time to think. You need some time to alone. You need some time to yourself. That's what it's showing. And there's the clearing. All right. On the magician. Leaving the troubled waters, heading off into the calm. Okay. Um, camping may be, may be an option here. Kind of the atmosphere I'm seeing. Camping may be an option here. Um, depends on what kind of camping. I prefer a cabin, not a tent. Just saying. Um, this person may be known for their jewelry, even if it's a dude, even if it's a dude, maybe they're known for bracelets or rings or something like that. Okay. No, I have never been glamping, but I mean, I've got a uh, lake that I go to that has little cabins, which is basically a Home Depot shed with a bunk bed in it. Anyway, you want to look at it. And let's see what else we got. The seven of emotions. So you've got options. You've got options in all areas. Hence the name of the video. Choices. Choices and matter of the heart. This does, however, show me you've got options in other areas than love. You've got options in many areas. Uh, some of you've got options in work. Some of you've got options in residential moves. And some of you've got options in love. There's a lot unfolding here other than this person that's demanding your time. Okay. So this tells me you're going to have to slow down and look at the whole picture. And the center of the reading. Oh, the fool. There, go camping. Go do something. You know, this is you. This is you traveling light. Quick trip. Jumping into something with both feet. Definitely going to the extended on this. And see where we come out here. Uh, but if we part here, not a problem. You guys have a fantastic week ahead. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. But that's what I've got for my Saggies. So if you're following me around, hang tight. I'll be back momentarily coming back with Capricorn. <laughs>